5 a.m. Saturday. We are ready for the Eras tour. Very exciting. Smelling a lot of food. It's smelling very nice. We are heading to Queen Street Markets. So hoping to eat lots of yummy food there. There's other things at those markets as well, but I'm all here for the food. We are just approaching Queen Victoria Market and I'm at the level of being so hungry I might feel sick. How hungry are you, Mum? I'm very hungry. Yes. I can't remember how many food vendors there are here, but from a quick Google, it looks pretty good. Hopefully, don't just choose the first thing we see, <laughs> but we will see what we do. Alright, so we have lost mum. I didn't realise the food court was so far away from where the first part of the market was, which has all the retail. Queen Victoria Market is much bigger than you may expect. I think the best place to eat within the massive Queen Victoria Market precinct will be the delicatessen section. Let's see if we can find mum, fingers crossed. I'm outside, have you crossed yet? Oh, I can see you now, I can see you now, yay. <laughs> We found each other. Hello. Hello. I'm hungry. Oh, me too. We finally made it to the food section. I think we've been walking around for, well, it feels like a while. It might not be that long. Maybe 20, 30, one hour. We're just going to stand here and eat it because we're at that point. Feeling a lot better. It is extremely crowded here due to the Taylor Swift concert. We're now mentally at the stage that we're, where we can try finger food because we've actually had enough that we can survive and not faint. Yeah. Very nice. This is a salmon ricotta, I believe. Little wrap. Mm. Really good. So we found there's also a sweet food section. Behind me there's what looks like a nice coffee place. And then here we've got some lovely sweets. We're gonna explore what other sweet options there are because we, you know, we don't wanna choose the wrong thing here. This is some high stakes. There's a lot more to eat and just graze and snack on here. It's more sweet though. So we just got some chocolate truffles from Coco Black Chocolate. Okay, so one's rose, rose water jelly, rose water jelly and cafe latte, I think. Mm, very good. Okay, so I got a couple. I got Bailey's and I also got the tr chocolate Belgian truffle. Mm. To finish off, um, we're going from savoury to sweet to savoury. We're just sharing a little sausage roll, chicken and mushroom. Mm. Delish. You can definitely tell it's the weekend of the Eras tour here in Melbourne. Right now we are outside a tattoo studio where they are offering Taylor Swift tattoos for 150 bucks. And everywhere around Melbourne is playing Taylor Swift music. We're staying in Hawthorne, which is a bit out of the city. It's a couple of suburbs over from the MCG. It's a pretty quick train ride and then about a 15, 20 minute walk to the MCG. This is our accommodation, just simple studio apartment. We we're pretty lucky because we booked this in the morning, like before seven o'clock. And then a couple hours later, they doubled their price because of the demand for the year's tour. Alrighty, so we have managed to nap for a little bit, had about a 20 minute power nap. I'm actually going to get ready because <laughs> 
We don't have that much time. I know that this concert at the MCG is Taylor Swift's biggest concert ever. So there's three shows. So she had the first one last night and she said, this is my biggest show of my life. Scared about the crowds. I, I don't mind crowds at all. I'm more scared of if we are going to end up allowing enough time. So the show starts at 6.20. I'm planning for us to get there by 5.20. So I'm thinking that's gotta be enough time. It would be pretty sad if it wasn't. Mum has now brought back a lovely pizza. <laughs> Yum! Oh wow, that looks perfect. It I'm suddenly really hungry now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wasn't feeling too hungry before, but now I am. I'm very looking forward to the Folklore era. That's probably my favorite album of hers. And then after that, the Taylor Swift era I'm most looking forward to is probably even just, I like her recent album, Midnight's, but also 1989. Look at that. Ready to dig in? Mmm. Delicious and fresh. It's yummy, isn't it? I love this cheese. Buffalo cheese? Yeah. Mm. Buffalo mozzarella? Mm. We are walking to the train station now. <laughs> we're just sort of hightailing it because we just want to make sure that we get there on time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought we'd be in a good spot coming here. I'm scared. It's a very packed train. It's very packed. Yeah. Yeah. And it's getting us an hour early. of people piling in. The line to get Taylor Swift merchandise is so long. Good on them. We're struggling to find our gate, but we will see. I think it's around this corner. Gate three, there we go.
Did you see the Valentine's Day special? No. Wow. It sounds yummy, but I'm really looking forward to it. Fritters. We just saw those a Valentine's Day special. Red velvet pancakes, black sesame ice cream, raspberries, cream cheese, ganache, chocolate brown soil. But I think I feel like savory too. So we are at Axel Coffee Roasters. So we had to wait about five minutes for our table, but I think it'll be worth it. It's lots of people um, in here. Reception recommended this place. I just feel like a bulky, savory meal today. It was fabuloso. I loved all of her songs, but probably I love Shake It Off. I remember last night, mum probably asked about three times if she was going to perform Shake It Off because you were slightly concerned every time it, the concert kept progressing that it, she wouldn't perform Shake It Off. I was relieved. My favourite was the folklore era slash actually the Evermore era. I love that music. I love Cardigan and um, I loved Willow. I love that song. The coffee's fantastic. In Melbourne they meant to be the coffee capital. We'll see about that. It is delicious. The Brisbane Nuts have really good coffee though. But yeah, I can see what the hype is about. So we've just seen a friend, been there for a few hours after our brunch this morning. Nice beach here, but yeah, we're just walking along the beach now and then we'll like, tram it to the city. have trimmed. Now we are heading to Burke Street just for some yeah. shopping. I feel like this one maybe has been stolen before in the past, but I will check. It reminds me of Devil's Snare in Harry Potter. This is looking very good. I haven't been having many vegetables the last few days, so it will be good to get some in. And then of course some cake afterwards. This looks like a very fancy dessert. 
Yes, it's like a white chocolate mousse. It's delicious. So we've been to the National Gallery today. How'd you yeah, like to try any? Oh, it was excellent. It was really good. It was a bonus. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Expecting. yeah. Yes, and we came great. across a top tip that if it's your last day mm. and you have your luggage with you, um, like we did, we weren't staying in Melbourne City, so we couldn't just leave yeah. our bags at the accommodation for the day. So we brought our bags in and we were able to cloak them at the National Gallery for free. And you can cloak them until they close yeah. at 5 p.m. So we've done that. And there were some little suitcases in there as well. So yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a very good hack, free. Yeah. And then you can go out and explore for the rest of the day. You don't have to, you can leave the National Gallery like we have and yeah. <laughs> Just had a very brief walk around the Queen Victoria Gardens. Nice thing to do in the 15, 20 minutes we had. Nice and peaceful, nice little walk and talk. I wouldn't like purposely plan just to visit here, but if you're at the National Gallery, maybe go across the road and have a wander. Now that we are finished here, we are going to head to the National Gallery, get our bags. We're gonna to walk to Flinders Station, catch the train from there to Southern Cross. I believe it's just one stop, but too far to walk with our backpacks. And then we will, from Southern Cross Station, get the Sky Bus to Melbourne Airport. So I just want to say well done to all of you. All of us have been saying how nice you all are and you all deserve a round of applause. Seriously, you're so lovely. Well done. That's what Taylor's done. She's a good girl. Thank you. Well, when I ring her tonight, I'm going to tell her that you're all so nice. I'm sick of talking to her. She's always on the phone to me anyway.